Hey, welcome to this short video about parameterization in web load scripts. Um, so here I have a script that I recently recorded. It's doing a uh, login to my website. And here I have my recorded um, username and password. So I was using this user, Johnny, and this is his password. And so, and this can be other things also well, whenever you have a recorded script. Things like what products I'm searching and anything else that I type in. Uh, so when this wouldn't run under load, I would have the same user and the same password running for all the thousands and oh, how many users I'll have running. Uh, so the parameterization talks about changing that. So we want to have different users. Sometimes we have to have a different user because that's how the system works. And sometimes we just want to change the user and again it's not doesn't have to be right just the user you have any anything in your script that you have you can parameterize so parameterization is done using this parameterization manager and here we can define several parameters each parameter can have several fields so I'll create a users parameter in my uh, demo and the parameter type can be different it can be a random time a date or, or a number or a string uh, but the most common one is a file base where you have a file like a CSV file with a list of username and password you want to use. Uh, so either it's a CSV file that you have and you can select it, and if not, you can just select build it here on the fly. So this would be my uh, how many? So this would be uh, how many columns I need and how many rows. So for me, I'm going to use the, just login. Uh, and password, uh, and here would be my my users, right? So this would be my Johnny and my other some other user, and he would enter the password. So and I would keep going with all the users that I want to have in my uh, file, right? And now I can save it, my users, and. Do I want to use it? And so yes, I want to use it in my parameter file. And now I now I can now I have a file that I can access from my script. And there are a few things we can change about how the parameter is used. So by default, we just use whatever value um, randomly, basically from the file. Uh, sometimes you need it to be unique. So this is option would ensure that they are unique. Obviously, you, you need to have enough values in the file. So if I have just 10, 10 users, but I want to run 100 users and they need to be unique, that won't work. Uh, so you need to have, make sure you have enough uh, values. Um, and then we also have the update policy, which means that if we are accessing it several times in the script, what does it mean? So by default, it, it, every round that you access it, you're going to get the same username. But you can say, every time I'm going to call my parameter, give me a different value. And also it can be a once per VC. It means that every user would be assigned a value and it would stick with it forever. So depending on what you need to do. Uh, next we configure what are the values. By default, just all the values are part of the parameter, but many times the first row is actually says what the parameter is. And if we check it, then it would be used as the parameter name. So here the login and password that I had in my file they're not part of the values, they are just the name of the parameter. Uh, and also, most specifically here, I can see that my parameters are used in the name login and password, just like I did in my file. So I can instruct Webload to automatically replace it. And if I do that, I don't need to edit my script. And automatically, Webload would use the, the username and password that I have here instead of whatever is in the script. So that's one way of using the parameterization. And now here I've got the parameterization files. Um, and so basically the parameterization will be used automatically because I did the checkbox. But if I want to manually use it, I can use right click and do insert variable anytime I want to use the parameter. So I have here the login and password. I can, I can enter them manually and say maybe info message uh, user. And so this would print the username, but I, I don't need to replace it here because again, uh, uh, we will do it automatically. And then when I when we run it, we can see. Let's see what it does. Right. So here we can see this is my printing the username 
happened to be Johnny just like I had anyway in the beginning. So the with replacing Johnny stays Johnny, but the password changed from the original password that I had here to just whatever I put in the file. Uh, so that's that's it. That's the uh, parameterization for you. Um, just uh, note if you're using it in another location, like if you upload it to the dashboard, then th so you make sure if the file is in the same folder as your original script, then it would just work. Otherwise, if it's a relative path, then then you can change the path to be uh, a relative path. That that should that would also work. Um, just know that any change, any manual change that you do to the parameterization the configuration would mean that it, you will not be able to edit it again from the parameterization manager. If you don't make any change, you can keep editing it from the UI. That's it. Thanks for watching my quick demo.